Dad, caught me in mum's dress. Since my mum died, I like to dress in her clothes. Then my dad caught me. I'm Jason. It has been a terrible year, my mum had cancer and she passed away just after Christmas. She was only 42. My dad and I have been struggling with her loss, ever since. I'm 18 now, and I find it so hard without my mum. She was so lovely, and I miss the hugs, kisses, and the way she would comfort me during difficult times. My dad doesn't say much nowadays. We have always got on well together, but he has got so withdrawn since my mum's death. I know he is struggling to come to terms with her loss, and sometimes I hear him crying in the bedroom at night. I wish sometimes he would talk about mum to me and share with me, his and my feelings to help us heal our great loss. But he hardly says a word to me, only that which is necessary, otherwise it is silence. I was supposed to start university, but I put that on hold for a year, I couldn't bear to leave dad while we were both grieving. Dad still goes to work, out of necessity, and I try to look after the home while he works. I keep the place clean, do the washing and ironing and cook some meals. I have taken over those roles that mum used to do. I was cleaning their bedroom one day, and I wanted to put dad's clean clothes away after ironing. I pulled the wrong drawer open, and it was my mum's underwear drawer. Dad had not thrown anything of my mum's away or taken it to the charity shop. I sat on the bed looking at her lovely bras and panties in the drawer. I just wanted to feel her clothes on me. I felt it would bring her back to me. I got undressed and pulled on a pair of her panties. They were a light pink, all silky with lace and bows. I loved the look of them, and the feel was so much better than my guy's pants. I found a matching bra and after a struggle I put it on. They both smelt of my mum's perfume, and as I looked in the mirror, I felt so close to her again. I kept them on and got dressed again. I went to prepare dinner for when dad got home, and for once I felt so good, it was as if I was my mum. I only had her bra and panties on but with her flowery apron, I could imagine myself as mum cooking dinner. Dad never knew my secret, but it was making me feel so much better. Every day after that, I would put on mum's underwear and do my chores as my mum. Then came the day when I put on one of her dresses. I looked more and more like mum. I would do the housework all day in her underwear and a dress. I loved being my mum. Her clothes fitted me so well, it was like we were twins. I had to make sure I put the dress away before dad came back from work, but I always left the underwear on. After a few weeks dressed as my mum, I wanted to go further. Dad never got home until at least 6 or 7 p.m. from work. I had an early lunch, and I went to their bedroom. I had put on a lovely scarlet pair of silky panties that day along with a matching bra. I had found a scarlet suspender belt which I put on with a pair of light brown stockings. Mum had this lovely red dress that I put on. It was what she wore out with Dad for their nights out. It had long sleeves, a rounded neck and buttons on the front with a flared skirt. I put on a pair of my mum's shoes, they were beige strappy sandals, with ankle supports and three-inch heels. I looked lovely. I decided it was about time to try my mum's makeup. I had watched her do her makeup, when I was growing up, and she had explained what she was doing to me. I used to love sitting by her side watching her, and sometimes she would put some lipstick, eyeshadow, and mascara on me. I would love looking pretty, she told me not to tell my dad, I don't think he would offer approved. I started by putting some foundation on my face with a bit of rouge on my cheeks. I plucked and shaped my eyebrows. They looked a bit girly, but I was sure dad wouldn't notice. I lined them black and then proceeded to apply some eyeshadow and mascara to my lashes. I then puckered up and applied a dark red lipstick to my lips. I put some light pink nail varnish on my finger and toenails. I put some of mum's bracelets on, a necklace and some clip-on earrings of my mum's. Lastly, I pulled on a wig of my mum's, that she would wear going out for the night dancing with dad. I looked in the mirror and I was shocked. It was as if my mum was looking back at me. Yes, I had become her. 
I looked as beautiful as she did, and I felt as if she was there with me. I started talking to her in the mirror, as if she was there. Suddenly I heard my dad behind me, and he was looking straight at me in the mirror. Is that you Rosemary he said. Thinking it was my mum. I turned towards him and said, no, it's Jason dad, I'm so sorry, I wanted to look and feel like mum, it makes me feel so good. He just looked at me, there was a long pause and then he said, you look just like your mum, Jason. I thought she had come back to us. I'm sorry dad, I replied, really ashamed, that he had found me like this. Let me change dad, I'm sorry. No Jason, it's okay he said, you can stay looking like your mum if that helps you. You look really pretty, just like your mum when I first met her. Dad hadn't spoken more than a few words to me for weeks, and now he couldn't stop. Stand up and give me a twirl Jason, Dad asked me. I stood and swung around with my dress billowing out around my legs. Mum's clothes fit you perfectly Jason, I can't believe it, you're the spitting image of her. Perhaps she has come back to us, within you. Dad said, I have missed your mum so much and now she's here in front of me again. He came and gave me a big hug and a kiss on the cheek. I don't mind you dressing like your mum, any time you want son. It makes me so happy. Thanks dad, I replied, I would like to dress as mum every day if you don't mind. I feel so happy as mum. I would love that Jason, to have your mum back in my life, if only with you, dressed as her. It will make us both happier and help us to get over her loss, I'm sure. I tell you what Jason. As you're looking so pretty in that red dress and you forgot to get dinner. How about I take you out for a meal to celebrate your mum's return? It will cheer us both up. We can go to your mum's favourite restaurant. What do you think? But they'll know it's not mum, dad. They'll see it's me a guy. Nonsense Jason, you fooled me. You could fool anyone now. Do you think so dad? Yes son, let me get changed and we'll be on our way. So that was that. We were going out to a restaurant, with me as his wife, Rose. I waited downstairs, and he soon appeared showered and dressed to kill. I had not seen dad so excited and talkative for months. It was as if a heavy weight had been lifted off him. We were soon at mum's favourite restaurant, a Turkish one, the Olive Tree. Hello Mr and Mrs Winters the waiter said as we entered. It's been so long since we saw you last. He thinks I'm my mum, I thought, as he pulled a chair out for me to sit down. Dad looked at me and said Rose dear, shall I get your favourite wine? I was my mum, I said, please Tom that would be lovely. Our drinks came and we chose our meal from the menu. Dad was so happy he was smiling again, and back to his old self. The restaurant had dimmed lighting and the waiter lit a candle on the table. Dad held my hand and said you look so beautiful tonight, Rose. I didn't want to spoil this night. We were both happy and enjoying the moment. We had been in a bad place for months and now it was like mum was back. I said, thanks Tom, you're looking good yourself. We had the best night, either one of us had for a long time. Dad paid the bill, and we walked out with Dad's arm around my waist. Never had we ever been as close as this, and I loved the attention I was getting from Dad. From then on, I would always dress as mum, cleaning the house, getting the meals and doing the daily chores and shopping. When Dad came home from work, he would give me a kiss on the cheek and say, you're looking lovely today, Rose. I would kiss him back and give him a big smile. I was now Rose, we would go dancing, to a restaurant and even on holiday together. I loved being my mum, Rose. I went to see the doctor and she put me on hormone treatment. I grew into a lovely woman with my own breasts, and I had the operation to give me my lady lips. I had become my mum, Rose. No longer was I Jason. As time went by, me and my dad grew much closer, and I loved his affection towards me. We now shared the same bed, and yes it was bound to happen, and it did. We lived as husband and wife. We are both so happy together. Our lives are full of love for each other, 
and I never regret that day when I got caught dressed as my mum. I wouldn't be the lovely woman I am now if dad hadn't caught me that day. I know you will be saying, but he's your dad. You shouldn't be his wife. But this was meant to happen, I'm sure. We are both in love and happy, what more matters? If you like my stories, please give me a like, and subscribe to my channel. Story written and produced by Phil Gurley